Hello, my name is Dr. Gary Hirschfield, and today I would like to discuss a technique for flipping over an acreos lens inside the eye. This technique can be used for any type of intraocular lens. Here I have completed the cataract operation and I am putting viscoelastic into the eye. In this case, it's provisc. Now I am inserting the acreos lens. Notice that the bevel is down on the cartridge and my usual technique is to have the bevel up because I have my technician loading the lens upside down and this is a technique that I've demonstrated in a prior video but because I used different types of lens in a few prior cases I forgot to put the bevel up and ended up inserting the lens upside down now I'm verifying that upside down insertion by noticing that there is no nubbin on the right front haptic but there is on the left front haptic which is the opposite of what you'd expect to see if the level if the lens was inserted correctly so I have determined that the lens is upside down and now I've determined that I need to flip the lens over the most important aspect of this procedure is lots of viscoelastic any type of viscoelastic will do both in front of and behind the implant there you saw me put a fair amount of viscoelastic in front of the implant and now you're seeing me go behind the implant injecting viscoelastic and using the viscoelastic cannula to bring the optic and the haptics out of the capsular bag and into the anterior chamber next you will see me injecting a little more viscoelastic but the eye is so overfilled it just barely wants to go in and having an overfilled eye with viscoelastic is not a bad thing for this procedure to flip the lens you will require two instruments one is through the side port with the left hand and it can be a spatula or any type of small hook chopper uh, in this case I'm using a Sinsky hook and with the right hand I'm going underneath the intraocular lens and flipping it over as you can see. Uh, the left hand is very important to create the pivot point and also to keep the lens away from the cornea and that lens I can tell you didn't come anywhere near the cornea. Then I insert the haptics into the capsular bag and what could have been a very difficult procedure was quite easily converted to an uncomplicated end result.